Okay, I thought I'd do one more video of this before I uh, give this away. I'm actually giving this to a friend of mine who lives in a straw bale home, so perhaps we'll uh, do a video when it's all set up too. And uh, there's my tomato plants. They're coming along pretty good. Pretty wicked. We're going to be into the tomatoes here pretty quick. Should be nice. Some good salad material. Looking a little crispy, but that's because the water hasn't come on yet. Anyway, back to the setup here. I found myself to supply some good gauges, and I'm not going to talk about prices until I do some links, and I'll, I'll give you some links to this stuff. But what it is, is it's actually a, a voltmeter that goes to two places, um, which I found was a little bit difficult to find one that, that goes to two decimal places, but I did source one. And then below it is the ammeter. Now, I have the ammeter on a switch and it's mainly for the inverter now when you're using power see I only got one battery in it right now see but they've got four more that go in here and they all parallel up and each one is roughly about 70 amp hours or you know maybe 50 now because they're they're getting old but so this one I've been playing with it for a while today and uh, it's still reading 13.24 which is good and all of these batteries have been run through uh, several cycles on the Tesla switch which they improved. They were all 12.99 batteries and they've all come up to about 12.25, 12.20 kind of thing. They'll sit for weeks like that. Anyway, so up top we've got the 3000 watt Xantrex inverter. Now what I've done is um, if you end up picking up one of these little ammeters, it's, it's, you get two parts. The first part is that which is a 500 amp shunt okay and then I've got it tailed over to a hundred amp uh, fuse okay now the thing that there's no instructions that comes with this amp meter and you know you, you're almost embarrassed because you're thinking oh geez and I shouldn't need instructions right it's just an amp meter but the one thing that they don't tell you about this thing that is kind of a nice piece of information is you can't use the power source that you're metering. For whatever reason, I tried all, uh, every possible way, you can't. So what I ended up doing was, this is just like a little recipe box that I got from, from the Salvation, but you can see I've got a little nine volt power source behind that, right? So that's basically how mine is set up just in a little recipe box and then I just screwed the recipe box to the back wall and I have the ammeter on a switch mainly because it's on that 9 volt battery and I want this set up like this because these batteries can only handle so much I'd like to reduce that 100 amp fuse down to oh maybe 50 or 60 amps because these batteries can't produce you know I don't want to see her producing more than 600 watts and you know quite frankly a lot of people, you know, they don't really know about the draw on appliances and they, 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 so this was very visual. Her house uh, being a straw bale with minimal windows is very dark too, so she can just look up and see where her battery voltage is at and see what her draw on her bank is at and that sort of thing, right? So over here, I have a simple pulse width modulation uh, charge controller and it'll also run loads. So it'll run her night lights, for example, it has a little sensor. When it gets totally dark, you can have a load come on. It's really quite controllable in the sense that you can have it come on at dark for one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, five hour, six hour, up to 12 hours. So it's very controllable and that's that's the little, the little power modes. Anyway, that's a $14 item, very, very cheap. Now the reason why I put that in, in with this is because the, the solar input on those 10 gauges there is up here. And so you have a quick uh, disconnect, basically, right here. Um, I have completely finished fixing this, but this just came off an old UPS. So, for example, if I had an MPPT charger hooked up to here, it would still charge. It would still charge the batteries and go through the ammeter. Or if I have um, a small panel trickle charger or a Bedini or something. I can use this source, right? So that'll allow her to quickly disconnect and connect. And basically, for the sake of saving money, I use this, which is free, and I would have her disconnect her solar 
when it's dark out so that there isn't a bunch of current running through this at the same time but it's you know ample for the current that this system will ever see which is you know 10 to 14 amps let's say it's more than a more than good enough connector and um, basically I'm set I set this up because I might have another one over here it might be like a Bedini circuit or something and then she could just move it over to the to the other other solar source all right so anyway the cool thing about this this setup is that when you do buy it you should never have to upgrade given that it's 500 amps I mean 500 amps at uh, 12 volts is lots of watts right so no worries there I mean you could put if you really had to you could put one you know between the inverter and if you had multiple inverters but it is a good setup I mean it's dual digit volt voltage which is you know nicer than just um, a single a single display it lets you know what's going on a little bit a bit better and the ammeter so let's have a look at that when I fire up the inverter itself you can see it does indicate a bit of a surge it had a 4 amp surge when it ran I do have a uh, 1 farad uh, audio capacitor that I could put in the system but we'll see I don't think I'm going to really need it okay and now I'll fire up a let's see maybe I'll uh, put this over so that you can actually illuminate the setup what I've got in here is a 75 watt bulb um, which when I read it on a uh, watt meter for normal AC draws about 72 watts from normal uh, grid okay so there I'll put it on and you can see what happens seven amps and that should ride right down to about 12.4 and then level off I think maybe 12.35 these batteries are com were completely free and recycled over a year ago so I mean you can only expect so much from them but there you have it the very basic solar setup now like I said I'm not going to talk about prices until I actually get it but this stuff is affordable nothing I buy is I don't you know spend money unnecessarily uh, probably the biggest waste of money it was that Raptor um, Raptor 100 amp fuse assembly it's just it's not it, they look real beefy when you buy it but it's really not all that beefy and you can see I made my own copper bus bar and my solar is coming in on the right hand side of that 500 amp shunt so if I have solar coming into this more so than I'm drawing it just shows negative on the ammeter which is kind of cool so you get to see what's going on energy in energy out and there you have it you know stabilized at, at a 7 amp reading when I turn the light off it bounces between 0 and 1 and that's about right because I'm told that this Xantrex 3000 watt inverter draws about 600 milliamps uh, just in idle so what I'll do is I'll, I'll have two I'll have one more inverter up here I'll have a, uh, a, a 600 watt or I sorry 300 watt uh, pure sine wave and then I'll also have like a very small 75 watt light lighter inverter that you you know would put in your car lighter and then that will give three sizings of inverters the the pure sign for you know running computers laptops when when the battery is dead and you want to run it and charge it at the same time um, yeah and that's about it but it's just a bare bones setup but this is a this is a neat little charge controller and uh, if you guys are interested too it, it works really quite well it's very simple um, I just wanted a charge controller to live with this center and like I say she's actually got a better one but this being sort of a mobile setup there's on the back you can see there's a uh, there's a dolly a that holds it all together so that you can move it and uh, yeah so that's that's it that's the setup thanks for watching